hello everyone welcome back to my channel today i'm going to talk about the search and uh, rescue optimization algorithm for uh, trust structure so uh, i have two paper for uh, this video so this is the first paper and uh, this is the uh, second paper that uh, you can uh, follow uh, i will leave the link of this paper in the description so don't forget to check them out and um, for this video i'm going to uh, use this problem so we have the 3d uh, trust structure with 25 uh, bars and uh, we have uh, some property here of the trust structure and uh, I'm going to follow the uh, algorithm in this paper and uh, this is the flow that uh, I'm going to follow and before we start please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button and if you like this video please put the thumb up as well okay so for uh, this structure optimization problem I'm going to uh, uh, use a code in Python and uh, I have some uh, code here and I will explain uh, what it does and uh, next uh, I will uh, write the uh, optimization part so uh, first we need to uh, important library uh, in this uh, code so the first one is numpy and the other one is uh, matplotlib and uh, the first class here called trust is to perform the structure optimization sorry uh, to perform the structural analysis of a 3d trust structure and um, if you don't know how to uh, uh, write this code you can watch uh, my previous video uh, i explain how to uh, run the structural optimization by using Python or also MATLAB. I will leave the link of those video in the description as well, so don't forget to check them out. And uh, for now, I will explain uh, briefly about this op class and uh, some information uh, here. So, uh, first, we have the init um, uh, method and uh, we need to import the young modulus the uh, density of uh, the material and uh, the nodes so the nodal coordinates uh, by connectivity and um, for this problem we have uh, self dof equal to uh, three because uh, this is the 3d trust uh, problem and we have the uh, load array support uh, array and the section array here so uh, for the support array here it's uh, we are uh, it equal to one uh, all um, at the degree of freedom and uh, one here uh, mean that uh, the support is i mean uh, the uh, degree of freedom is free and if we change it to zero, it means that uh, the degree of freedom is uh, fixed. Uh, you will uh, see later in the uh, the code below. And uh, this is the uh, stress displacement array. And finally, is a weight that uh, we're going to uh, use this in the search optimization. So uh, first, to perform the structural analysis um, I create an uh, a variable and then it is the total number of uh, nodes of the structure and n e is the total uh, number of elements of the truss uh, structure and this is the total number of degree of freedom so we have the uh, degree of freedom here uh, multiply by a total number of uh, node and 
D here is the um, the differences of the coordinate for uh, each uh, node. So uh, it's equal to the um, final point of the element minus the uh, the start point of the element for both sorry for all axes x y and uh, z and uh, next we can create sorry we can uh, find the length of each element uh, here and uh, this is just the correction for uh, any error uh, in this in this uh, problem we don't need here but uh, for the problem that we need to optimize the uh, nodal coordination we uh, we can uh, use this but uh, for this problem we don't need uh, this here and uh, the angle here is the uh, variable that we uh, use to define the transformation vector uh, a here and uh, you can uh, read this book in order to understand uh, uh, the structural analysis by using the final element method or the restiveness uh, method uh, first we need the transformation vector and then uh, we form the global uh, stiffness of the structure here so uh, first we create the um, degree of freedom for each uh, node and then form uh, stiffness of each uh, element and then uh, 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 create the uh, structural stiffness of the structure and uh, once we have the structural stiffness of the structure we can find the uh, unknown deformation uh, uf here and once we uh, know the uh, the unknown displacement we can find the force of uh, each um, element of the thrust structure and then we can find the stress here the placement uh, which is the uh, u the area u and uh, finally we have the total weight of the thrust structure and uh, for this uh, method we uh, used to plot the um, the thrust uh, structure so uh, we use the coordinate uh, x i x f uh, y i y f and uh, z i z f which uh, represent the start point uh, coordinates and the uh, end point coordinate of uh, each uh, element and then uh, we plot uh, each element and uh, next uh, we have the property of the thrust structure so uh, this value here is following the um the one from the paper that i, I show you and uh, we import the uh, those information here so first we have the model elasticity the uh, material density and this is the nodal coordinates of uh, each uh, of uh, uh, each node of the thrust structure and uh, next we have the bar connectivities uh, so we have uh, 25 bars and uh, this uh, the array here we uh, contain 25 a uh, row and uh, the value here is the start point of uh, each uh, bars and the value here is the uh, start uh, sorry the end uh, uh, nodes of each uh, bars so the first bar here start from node number 0 to node number 1 and uh, you can look at this uh, figure so the bar number 1 here start from uh, node number 1 to node number 2 uh, because in Python code we use the uh, the start number zero so this will be uh, zero and one and uh, next i create an object called trust one and uh, recall the uh, class trust and input the uh, young modulus the material density 
node all coordinates the bar connectivities and next we uh, can import or uh, uh, import the uh, loads so uh, for this problem we have uh, two cases so this is the case one and this is case two and this is the load sorry the node that the load uh, is applied on and uh, we have the uh, load case number one and this is load case number two and this is your coordinate uh sorry the and uh, this is the uh, node that uh, the load apply on and this is the um the uh, axis that uh, the load is uh, located so zero mean that uh, it is the x axis one is y axis and two is z axis and this is uh, for node number zero number zero and number one number two and this is the value of the uh, loads and uh, next we have the supports so uh, we have four support here located at the uh, node number seven number eight number nine and number ten and all the supports are uh, pin support so uh, the support here located at node number uh, six seven eight and nine because the again the python code uh, used here start from uh, uh, zero from and as i mentioned before the um the value of support here uh, initially equal to one and one represent the free degree of freedom and uh, when we change it to zero it means that the uh, uh, the degree of freedom is uh, fixed and the second uh, uh, column here represent the axis so uh, when I type this sign it means that all the axis are uh, fixed so x y and z uh, will uh, be fixed and next we have the section uh, uh, array so uh, the section array we have followed this um, data here which the optimization will choose from uh, uh, this list and uh, use it on the structure and um, next is the section variable so uh, the section variable here is to define um, uh, which variable is for uh, which element so for example the first um, column here represent the uh, variable and the second column here represent the um, the number of uh, each element so um, here the variable uh, number zero uh, it is for the bar number zero and the variable number one number number one here we have a uh, four row and it will be for uh, element number one number two number three and number four so uh, you can look at this paper this is the variable here so variable number one is for element number one here and variable number uh, two uh, is for element number two to element number five and uh, this is exactly what uh, this array uh, is for and uh, next we have the uh, stress uh, limit and the displacement uh, limit so uh, this is for the optimization constraint and this is the population so in this problem uh, we use uh, 10 population and iteration number will be uh, 500 and uh, this optimization will be 
uh, run five times independently okay now um, we have the basic information we have the uh, uh, the class for uh, structural analysis and uh, next we can create a code for structural optimization so I'm going to create a new uh, code cell and um, I will call this class it uh, stands for um, search and uh, rescue so first we can write the um, init uh, method and uh, what we need to import is the trust that we going to uh, optimize the section uh, list um, section variable uh, next is the number of um, total population uh, iteration number stress uh, limit and the last one is displacement uh, limit and uh, we can create the variable here okay um, now we have the trust section list section variable population iteration stress limit and the placement uh, limit uh, next we can create the dimension this is for um, our optimization of variable and you can look at the uh, section variable here so we have uh, eight uh, variable start from uh, zero here and uh, end with uh, uh, variable number seven so we can uh, uh, count the uh, section variable array and we count only the unique uh, number so if we count only number zero one two three and so on until number seven so this will uh, will be eight and next uh, i create the uh, global best uh, position so um, this is the array that um, uh, has uh, iteration plus one row and and uh, eight uh, columns and this is the global best cost or global best uh, weight of the trust structure and this array has iteration plus one um, a number uh, so I used uh, the iteration plus one here because at the start of optimization we have the initial uh, weight so uh, we need to include the initial weight uh, as well and this is for the stress of uh, the thrust and this is for the, the placement of each uh, node so um next we can start the op uh, optimization part so we call this optimization and uh, first i'm going to convert the section in into the uh, uh, section uh, in teacher so um, uh, I will explain this uh, after I uh, I write this uh, line And this will be land uh, self section uh, list and uh, can define here integer. 
so um this is the array that uh, start from zero to the the last number of a section list and uh, with the number of uh, number of the item in the section list and this is the section list that uh, we use so i will not use this uh, number in order to perform the structural optimization but uh, i will change this into uh, in the um the rec sorry the um the number of the section so it will be start uh, it will start with the number zero number one number two until the last number here so this is what the this array uh, is about okay next i'm going to create the um the uh, limit of the optimization so uh, this is the optimization uh, optimization bound so the limit uh, of this uh, section will so the lowest um of the section will be this one and the uh, the biggest section will be this one so uh, we can use that uh, the section list array uh, in order to create the limit here so i uh, will use the uh, minimum command and use the section uh, array that uh, i just created uh, created here and um, next one is the maximum value and uh, this is section here and i'm going to uh, multiply this by um, the array ones and with the size of self uh, dimension and the column equal to two so uh, this equal to two because we have a minimum and maximum so the first row sorry the first column will be the uh, minimum uh, value and the second uh, column will be the maximum uh, value and the dimension here we uh, use the value from here so uh, uh, the array here will has uh, eight um, rows uh, because we have uh, eight uh, dimension So now uh, we have the basic information here. Um, so now uh, we can read this paper for the uh, optimization part. Uh, you can follow the information here uh, step by step. But uh, first I'm going to um, create a, an array called clue uh, your array or matrix here that contain the position and the memory of the uh, optimization so uh, I'm going to call this clue and the initial value is 0 with the size of 2 multiplied by self um, population and self uh, dimension um, next i will create a clue cost array and uh, the initial value is zero as well with the size of two multiplied by self uh, population so uh, now we can uh, read the uh, step here so first we randomly uh, initialize a population of 2n uh, in rank uh, x minimum x maximum for each uh, uh, dimension so uh, we can use a loop uh, here uh, first uh, the first loop is from 0 to 2 multiplied by self um, population 
and the other loop is for each um, dimension now uh, we can uh, generate a number between the uh, the x minimum to the x maximum uh, randomly so uh, we use the clue array here and this will be i and uh, j equal to np uh, random and uh, choice uh, section array so uh, this the command here will uh, perform a, a, a randomly selection from this list and uh, import it into this array but um, I will uh, adjust a little bit uh, uh, here I will choose only uh, the the section that start from uh, um, the number 20 to the maximum uh, because this is the initial um, uh, position so I want the section is to be uh, a little bit big so that uh, the design constraint pass the uh, limit value and uh, next we can compute the uh, the cost of each uh, position here or uh, the weight of the truss structure so uh, I, I can call the clue cost and this will be i and equal to so in order to find this cost we need to import the information to the uh, class here and then uh, get back the the total weight of the truss structure so in order to do that i'm going to create a static uh, method so uh, we call this uh, static method and um, call this um, let's say a uh, get weight and I need the trust the position of uh, the uh, structural uh, uh, I mean uh, particle and next is the section uh, list the section variable as well so uh, I will create a loop This will be a len and grass bar. So uh, this will count the number of the total number of uh, bars in uh, of the truss structure. So this will start from uh, zero to uh, twenty four because uh, we have twenty five bar and i need the index value here of, uh, which is equal to the integer uh, integer number and uh, uh, we get this number from position and for the the uh, array uh, index i will call from section uh, array sorry uh, section variable array and i and zero so uh, you can uh, look at the section uh, variable here and uh, the value i and zero zero is the column the first column and i is for each uh, row so it will uh, get from each uh, each row of this uh, array and use the first column uh, value here so uh, 
so uh, what it does here is to uh, define the index of uh, uh, each uh, element or define the variables of uh, each element because um, some element has the same uh, variable for example uh, this element uh, 1, 2, 3 and 4 we, uh, have the same uh, uh, section variable or optimization variable which is uh, number 1 so uh, we need to define the index here and then uh, we use this index to uh, replace the section of the transaction so uh, I will change the transaction uh, I so it will start from 0 to 24 and this uh, equals to uh, section uh, list and index so uh, now we have the new uh, transaction we can perform the structural analysis and return the uh, total weight of the structure and uh, here return the thrust weight so now uh, we get the uh, thrust weight we can uh, call this uh, method in uh, to this line here so uh, the clue cost i equal to uh, get weight uh, sorry save uh, get weight and you can look at the import here we have the self uh, trust and uh, clue i so this is the position for the first uh, particle or the first uh, population and self uh, section uh, section list and self uh, section uh, variable so now we got the clue uh, cost uh, next we need to sort uh, sort this clue uh, array uh, from the best to the worst uh, value so uh, we can call clue uh, equal to clue and and p uh, short and this cost so uh, next I'm going to uh, call the P, uh, G best uh, array and for the initial so this for the first value here this is for the initial uh, uh, initial weight of the trust structure it equals to a uh, clue uh, zero and save uh, g base cost uh, zero equal to uh, np minima, uh, minimum the value of the uh, clue cost so uh, the first item here is the best position so that's why it's uh, equal to the uh, global best position here now uh, next I'm going to separate the uh, the clue matrix or the clue array uh, just like the point number three here use the first half of the sorted solution for Schumann position and the other half is for memory uh, matrix and uh, you can look at um, you can look at this here so the first half of the uh, C matrix is Schumann uh, uh, position and 
the other half is memory position so uh, I will call this position equal to np copy uh, glue array and start from zero to um, self population sorry this is a uh, population and uh, next one is the memory and I'm going to use the copy command again and glue but uh, this time we will start from uh, self population and to the last uh, item or the last row of the clue uh, matrix so I don't need to input any uh, num value here so I'm going to copy this and paste it and call this position uh, prime and position P and uh, we can actually copy this or copy uh, the position itself either way is uh, fine now we have the position and memory matrix so uh, now uh, we can start the first iteration uh, we call a loop uh, here and it is for each uh, iteration so this in range self uh, iteration and now we can define the uh, algorithm parameter so first you sn equal to np zeros uh, self population and next one is se equal to 0 0.7 sorry and mu equal to 30 multiplied by self uh, dimension so uh, you can look at the uh, se value and the mu uh, value in this uh, paper so for i in a range of uh, self population so uh, next i'm going to define the parameter k so this will be uh, ran np random and uh, random integer start from 0 to 2 multiply sorry to multiply self uh, population and we need to uh, define that k should not equal to um, uh, i so while k equal to i uh, the program need to generate a random number again uh, so we can use the command uh, random random integer again from zero to self uh, population uh, next we need to compute the fitness value uh, for the uh, glue uh, matrix or glue array and uh, for the item uh, k and the other one is position uh, cost and uh, I will show you why we need to compute this uh, later so we can recall the uh, uh, static method uh, get weight again and uh, the first input is self uh, trust and clue k cell uh, section uh, list and sorry uh, self section uh, variable and now I'm going to copy it and paste here but uh, this uh, this value is the uh, position and I 
I here is for the I here. Now uh, we have the fitness value. We can continue the next step, and uh, you can look at the next step here. So uh, step number eight, we compare the random number uh, to the value zero point five. So uh, we use the command f uh, n p random uh, random and if it equal to sorry if it is smaller than 0 0.5 uh, we can follow the social uh, pace here and otherwise we apply the indi individual pace and compute the new position so this is uh, else So uh, I will generate a random number by using the Python uh, the numpy command. minus one and one. And we need a, a loop that run from each uh, run for each uh, dimension. So this uh, self uh, cell uh, dimension and generate a random number again. And we need the J array. So it is the random uh, integer number. That start from zero to cell uh, dimension. And now uh, we we can start the condition if all two uh, smaller than SE or J equal to J random. And if the uh, Blue cost uh, k uh, smaller than position cost. So the value here is this one here that uh, we compute earlier. So that's why we need to value here. We need to uh, compare this value. Now, uh, if it is smaller than the position cost, the position. Uh, uh, prime and uh, this is i and j equal to clue uh, k j plus r1 and sorry this is a uh, multiply by position uh, i and j minus uh, clue k and uh, j now otherwise uh, so this is else the position p here i'm going to copy this and paste it and uh, this time this is position And this is I and uh, this is the same now we need the another else uh, this is for this one position uh, P uh, equal to position Now uh, we have the social uh, pace. Now another part is the individual uh, individual pace. So first we need the random value uh, again. 
so this is the uh, random value from 0 to 1 and m m is the random num number uh, sorry the random integer uh, start from 0 to uh, 2 multiply uh, by cell population and we have the condition for this m as well so uh, we need to use the same strategy here so i will copy it and paste it but uh, this is m and this is m and uh i need all command here m equal to uh, k now uh, we have the social pace and the uh, individual pace uh, we can follow another step so uh, we we check the boundary uh, condition and then we update the uh, memory and the position and then we update the uh, usn uh, value so first the boundary condition now uh, we check for each um, dimension so for j in a uh, ring cell uh, dimension uh, position p i and j and uh, self bound so uh, i will create another static uh, static uh, method called uh, bound and the input here will be position uh, bound uh, j for for each uh, dimension and position uh, value j and uh, oh, i and uh, j and another one is position uh, p i and j so uh, now we need another static um, method and uh, call this bound And this is the in, the input uh, value. Okay, so the first one is position bound, position and position prime. And uh, we need the if condi uh, if command so if the position uh, prime is bigger than the position uh, bound so if it is bigger than the limit we need to change uh, the position uh, prime uh, to the um, the position uh, plus position uh, bound and divide it by 2 so uh, if you wonder wh uh, why I uh, use that uh, formula uh, you can look at here this is the uh, formula for uh, boundary cont uh, control so I'm going to copy this sorry uh, and paste it but uh, this time it is smaller than the position bound and this is zero 
and this is zero so uh, now we got the boundary control we need to return the the value so this is the position uh, prime uh, okay I think uh, missing something here uh, actually we need to update the position so uh, here is the formula sorry uh, I skip this uh, important part so the position prime equal to the uh, position i and plus or three multiply uh, blue matrix k and subtract blue uh, matrix m so this is the formula that uh, we use for update the uh, individual uh, the position for individual pace here all right so now uh, we need to so uh, now back to our uh, problem uh, after we check the boundary condition we need to uh, convert this position into the uh, the exact position so uh, uh, we update the position prime p k uh, j i uh, sorry uh, i j and i will create another uh, static uh, method and call it uh, find uh, nearest and what uh, we need is section uh, uh, section list and position uh, prime itself so this is uh, I and, and J. Now uh, we need to create uh, this uh, static uh, method. So uh, static method and find a nearest. So uh, the first input uh, value is the array and the other one is um, value and for the array I'm going to convert this array into um, um, uh, numpy array and uh, index equal to uh, absolute uh, value of array uh, minus the value so uh, if we take all the uh, value inside this array uh, minus the value here and then uh, we need to find the minimum value of uh, this uh, array so uh, uh, we can uh, use uh, this command so uh, it will return the index um, index number of minimum value of uh, this array and we can return uh, array and index so uh, now we update the position PE uh, next we can find the fitness value of uh, this position so I'm going to call the, uh, the get weight uh, method again and this is self uh, trust and uh, this is position uh, P and next is uh, self in uh, section list and the other one is section uh, variable and 
next we can uh, use the stress value and uh, next one is the placement sorry okay now we have the stress and the placement now we can check the constraint and uh, in order to check the constraint you can look at uh, this paper so uh, here is the uh, formula for uh, checking the constraint okay so uh, i'm going to create another static uh, method and uh, call this um, constraint so the first value is cost and then uh, uh, thrust uh, stress and stress max deplacement and deplacement max uh, next one is iteration and the last one is maximum iteration now uh, the first value is epsilon 1 it's equal to uh, np lin space and it start from 1 to 15 and maximum iteration so uh, you can look at this paper the epsilon 1 here increase from 1 to uh, 15 for the last iteration and 1 for the first iteration and the epsilon 2 equal to 2 so I'm going to put this equal to 2 and next is c uh, total equal to zero and now we can uh, check the uh, stress constraint so i'm going to run uh, the the value for each uh, member or each uh, element so i in range of uh, land uh, stress and c stress equal to uh, zero for initial uh, value and if the uh, the absolute value of the stress for i element uh, bigger than the sorry uh, bigger than the stress uh, maximum or the stress the limit so uh, stress c stress equal to np absolute value and absolute value again this is uh, for stress for each uh, member and uh, subtract the stress uh, maximum and divide by stress uh, maximum and uh, next we need to uh, compute for the c total here which equal to uh, uh, c total again plus uh, c stress and uh, next one is for nodal displacement so for i in a range of um land uh, thrust notes and we need to check for each uh, axis so uh, we need for a loop again and call this uh, axis in range uh, trust DOF sorry uh, DOF uh, this value equal to uh, 3 because uh, we have here 3 and uh, 3 represents the uh, 3D trust structure 
so now we need to check the the placement so np absolute value of uh, the place placement and for each node so uh, the first value here i and for each axis and if this value bigger than uh, the placement uh, maximum so we need to use uh, this formula again i'm going to copy this and paste it but uh, this will be the placement and i'm going to copy this this will be uh, the placement the placement maximum the placement maximum mm, i think there's something wrong here okay and uh, we need to change this as well okay now we uh we have the value c displacement we need to update the c total here so um can update here c total and uh, this is uh, c displacement so now we have the C total. We can compute for pi, uh, sorry, for phi uh, value. And uh, one plus uh, epsilon one. Sorry, this is a uh, worry from, uh, for each uh, iteration and uh, multiply by c total and a power by epsilon 2 and next is cost equal to sorry uh, cost multiply by this uh, value of v okay uh, next we can uh, return the value cost so now uh, we complete the constraint uh, handling so uh, we can use this uh, use that uh, static uh, method uh, here so i will change this uh, position p cost equal to uh, self constraint so the first one is the uh, the cost value so position p cost um, and then the uh, trust so self uh, trust And uh, next one is stress. The other one is the uh, stress uh, uh, limit. I think uh, this is self stress limit. And next one is the sorry the uh, the placement and self the placement uh, limit and iteration and last one is maximum number of iteration so now we have the uh, position p cost we can update the uh, the information of the uh, optimization uh, which is the uh, usn the memory mat matrix the position uh, matrix so uh, in order to do that i'm going to create uh, another uh, static method again so uh, we hide this and this one as well this one and this one okay now uh, 
we create static uh, method and call it uh, let's say update info and first one is position uh, position cost and position prime uh, next one is position uh, prime cost memory sorry and then uh, population uh, population and the last one is usn so uh so uh, we can look at this paper in order to uh, check what we uh, need to update so uh first i'm going to and create a variable n which is the random uh, integer start from uh, 0 to population and uh, next one I'm going to check the uh, if condition so uh, if position prime uh, is better so sorry uh, position prime cost is better so it means that it is smaller than a uh, position uh, position cost so the memory memory uh, n equal to uh, position and the position equal to position prime and else usn uh, equal to usn plus one and uh, we can return the value so return uh memory and next one is a uh, position and the last one is a uh, uh, usn so the first one is um, memory uh, this is the matrix uh, memory and next one is the position i and usn i and uh, i'm going to call the cell update info and the first one is uh, position and uh, this is position i and position cost position uh, prime i and uh, the next one is position uh, p cost and memory so this is the matrix uh, memory next one is self uh, population and the last one is usn i so uh, if usn i bigger than mu so the value mu is this one and for j in a rank self dimension or for uh, it is the random uh, integer start from zero to self uh, dimension and we need to update uh, position i j equal to position uh, bound j and sorry this is j and zero zero is for the uh, first column which is the minimum uh, value of the 
position bound and plus or four multiply uh, position bound and uh, this time is j1 the maximum uh, uh, value and uh, subtracts the position bound j0 uh, so uh, now that we have the first uh, formula sorry uh, i mean that uh, we have up there the position here but uh, we need to find the near uh, the nearest value so i'm going to copy this uh, line paste it here and uh, next um, we need to update the usn uh, sorry usni equal to zero so now we we complete the ab uh, abandoning clue uh, next we need to uh, form the clue matrix again because we update the position and the the Schumann position and the memory position so we need to uh, form the a clue matrix again so clue matrix equal to np concatenate uh, uh, position and memory matrix and for the last part here we need to update the information that we get uh, sorry uh, i think we have something wrong here so for the clue matrix we need to uh, update outside this loop and another part here is uh, we need to uh, update the information to the uh, the global best uh, value uh, position and the global best cost as well so uh, it's a uh, cost equal to NP uh, zero self uh, population and for I in uh, range self population x uh, cost it's cost i equals to self get weight and i'm going to import the value trust position i self uh, section list and the last one is uh, section variable So uh, now we got the x, uh, the x cost, we can uh, import the value into the global best value, which is uh, self g best. And this will be it plus one equal to position. Uh, NP the index of uh, minimum value but uh, it is from the matrix or array uh, x cost so this will this will um, find the minimum sorry the find the index of minimum value of the uh, the array x cost so when we have the index we can find the position uh, here and next one is the g base uh, cost it plus one and this will be a minimum x cost so now we got this value uh, next 
I'm going to create another um, another method that uh, perform this this uh, optimization uh, method uh, many times that uh, we want but uh, in this case we run uh, five times so I will create another one here uh, I will call this perform and the input value will be a run a number and I'm going to create a variable, a variable g base list and p0 uh, uh, run a number and a self dimension and another one is g base cost a list uh, and p0 as well but uh, this time is run number the array here is only one d array and the next one is g base uh, cost for each uh, iteration and uh, list and np0 run uh, run number and self iteration plus uh, one so uh, this value uh, sorry this array is for uh, record the the uh, the, the global best position for each uh, iteration and for each time that uh, we run the uh, uh, or we perform the structural optimization so uh, we need to do the loop so for i in range of uh, run number uh, we perform self optimization and then we record the g best uh, list i equal to uh, self g best uh, minus one which is the last value of iteration it, uh, it also means that it is the final uh, result of the optimization and the next one is the g base cost uh, list and uh, it's a quote to uh, g base cost and uh, the index minus one again and the last one is uh, g base cost iteration uh, i and I think this one is uh, I as well. All right, so uh, this will equal to self G best uh, cost so now we have the data we need to find which one is the best one between the uh, the number of the optimization that we run so for example we run five time here uh, we need to find uh, between this five time uh, which is the uh, which uh, which is the best one so uh, g best index uh, np uh, minimum uh, value uh, gbest cost list so this will find the index of the minimum value of uh, this array 
and uh, then we can use this index to find the uh, the best one between the uh, among the the uh, the run time the run number that uh, uh, the run number of uh, optimization the brief that uh, we perform so uh, this will be g best cause uh, list and uh, g best index and next one is g best uh, uh, cost iteration iteration uh, sorry uh, or to g best a cost iteration list and g best index and uh, the last one is g best cost mean uh, because we want to plot the uh, mean value as well uh, which uh, we can uh, uh, see here so uh, we have the average of 15 runs and the best runs so we have two uh, curve so uh, that's why we need the mean value so this will be uh, np0 uh, self iteration uh, plus one and uh, for i in a uh, range of uh, self iteration sorry self iteration plus one uh, g best cost uh, mean i equal to np mean g best cost uh, iteration and uh, i so uh, if you take the value from uh, g base cost iteration here sorry uh, g base in iteration list uh, this one here and uh, compute the and uh, when we uh, after it take the the value from this array it compute the mean value of the uh, the first color uh, sorry the of uh, uh, all the row of uh, this array and i here is for each uh, iteration so we start from uh, zero to the last iteration and uh, once we have this value we can uh, show the result so for the first one i'm going to set the um the print uh, option and uh, precision precision uh one to four uh, suppress true and the first value is the uh, member uh, stresses so we'll call this member uh, stresses and the unit is ksi now uh, we can print the uh, self plus and stress but uh, i'm going to create a new axis and do the transpose next one is the um the joint displacement so sorry uh, join the placement and the unit is the uh, inch and print self thrust and the placement uh, next one is the member section so we call this member section and uh, the unit 
of uh, this section the is uh, uh, this section is a uh, square inch and uh, print self uh, trust section and again i will create a new axis and do the transpose so uh why i did this because uh i want to make it uh, easy to uh to read when uh, we print the result uh, you will see and the last one is print the uh, total weight of the truss structure which is the uh the final result that we want to uh uh discuss and i will print the result here so point four f and the unit is pound and dot uh, format g base cost Okay, now we got the result. Uh, the next one we can uh, print. Sorry, uh, we can uh, plot the undeformed structure. So uh, I will put the the uh, property of the plot. and one and uh, you can find here so this is the property of the uh, the uh, plot of the truss so the first one is color line style and the last one is line uh, width and uh, we have here red uh, dash and uh, the line uh, width equal to one Okay, now uh, we have the undeformed uh, shape of the truss structure. We can uh, plot uh, another one, which is the uh, the uh, convergent uh, curve. So I'm going to call the matplotlib uh, command and create a new figure and call this, uh, let's say, convergent curve. And uh, I'm going to plot uh, G base cost uh, iteration, and uh, I'm going to call it uh, base cost value. Uh, let's say uh, only base cost and uh, color. Uh, red and the next one is uh, G best cost mean which uh, compute from uh, here and uh, label uh, mean cost and uh, color here is, uh, is blue so uh, now we have this plot we can add another property which is the uh, x level i'm going to call it uh, iteration and another one is the uh, y level and this is the uh, weight which uh in a pound unit so uh now we have everything uh, we need so uh, what we need to do is uh we can uh, run the uh, the optimization 
so I'm going to create uh, uh, an object I'm going to call this uh, op1 uh, which is the optimization one and uh, I'm going to call the uh, SAR class so the first one is trust I will import the trust one and then uh, section list I'm going to import the section here and the next one is section variable which is the one here and uh, another one is population sorry uh, pop and uh, iteration number and uh, stress limit next one is the displacement uh, limit and next one i'm going to perform the structural optimization so you can call the command perform and put the value run uh, number which equal to number five here so uh, now everything is complete we can uh, run uh, this code so I'm going to click here run all so uh, there is something error here and uh, we can view uh, what is the uh, problem so it's uh, here line number uh, 21 so uh, here this one so uh, there's a problem here actually it is uh, outside the bracket okay so i i think it's fine now we can uh, run uh, this again and uh, there is another error uh this one number 128 uh, we can check here 128 so uh, we can check the self uh, cell uh, stress limit so we have only a, a cell uh, stress uh, limb uh, so this is uh, the typo Okay, so I hope everything is fine now. I'm going to run it again. So uh, after we run the structure optimization, we can uh, get the result here. So I'm going to stretch uh, this a little bit more. So this is uh, member uh, stresses. And this is showing uh, the placement. And as uh, you can see here, there is no replacement uh, uh, that is bigger than the limit. And uh, the limit is here, 0 0.35. And uh, the biggest one is 0 0.3497. And this is the section of uh, each uh, element. And this is the total weight of the thrust structure and this is the 3d uh, undeformed 3d structure and this is the convention uh, curve so we have the uh, uh, the weight and iteration here so the total weight is 4.85 uh, uh, and uh, our result here is uh, 4.82 so it is a, a better result than uh, that of in the the paper and uh, you can run another load case as well but uh, as i uh, have uh, did it before i the load case number two is the grid core one so i only uh, run the case number two uh, here uh, uh, to show you so uh, this is it for this video. I hope you guys uh, uh, 
can do this optimization uh, on your own and uh, and uh, you can always check uh, this paper these two uh, paper uh, in order to understand uh, more about the search and uh, rescue optimization algorithm and for the uh, 3d trust structure uh, finite element analysis you can check this book it is uh, a good book to uh, perform the structural analysis so uh, i hope you guys enjoy this video thank you so much uh, for watching and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification uh, button as well if you like this video please put the thumb up i'll see you guys in my next video